Fresh Pet announces a voluntary recall. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Recently, Fresh Pet announced the recall of a single lot of Fresh Pet food due to possible salmonella contamination. Fresh Pet, they're a super responsible company. They've reported that to date, there have been no reports of any adverse events, no sick people, no sick animals as a result of this food. But it is kind of concerning, right? I mean, this is a super good company. Healthy ingredients. Oh, meat pipster, you like that? It's like fresh real ingredients. They make some great food. They do use eggs, also a great protein source. Eh, but eggs have the potential for salmonella contamination. Right, Pippi? Is salmonella a concern for your dog, for your cat? Clearly you don't want your dog, your cat to get salmonella. Uh, it's an infectious bacterial disease. It can result in GI signs, vomiting, diarrhea, fever. You can see bloody diarrhea. But in truth, we seldom, if ever, see that in animals. I mean, I, I don't ever recall diagnosing salmonella in a dog or a cat. It turns out salmonella is much more of a concern for people. So yes, we can also get the similar GI signs, but in some cases it can cause endocarditis. It can affect our heart, it can affect our eyes, our muscles, joint pain. Most dogs and cats that have salmonella, they don't actually have clinical signs. There are many that can have it, they can shed it, they can be carriers, potentially affect you or I, and they just don't have any signs at all. More of that recall, more of the focus is actually on avoiding you and I getting sick from salmonella in the first place as opposed to be the primary concern about our animals. Chickens are probably the biggest source of salmonella contamination for people and when you have factory raised chickens, you're raising them intensively in this super closed environment. And one, they can't help but getting exposed to bacterial diseases in the first place. But secondly, too, you're much more likely then to cause uh, bacteria that can then potentially spread to you or I. So they don't actually state the specifics on the recall. They just say there was this concern for salmonella. This was a lot that was inadvertently shipped out to retailers. So likely one of the salmonella tests came back positive. So this company is pretty responsible and you know they're just wanting to do the right or the safe thing, just making sure consumers, pet parents like you and I are aware of it. So was there a possibility of risk? For sure, they wouldn't have issued the recall. Do I think the risk was pretty minimal? Yeah, you bet I do. Should you be really worried about salmonella? No, I don't think so. With your dogs or cats, no, I don't. Should you be concerned about feeding your dog, your cat, a homemade diet? Even like gasp, a raw diet? Is there the risk of salmonella? There is. Do I think the risk is pretty low? You bet I do. Do I think the health benefits of feeding like a fresh homemade diet, a raw food diet, you know, say even some of the fresh pet foods, do I think that's much better than you know this quote unquote safe commercial kibble? You bet I do. So if you're looking at say the healthy fresh pet food, this could be a little sample or the kibble. Do you think it's safer to feed the kibble for the health of your dog? Sure isn't. Way better to eat this real food. Right, Pipster. Real food kibble. What do you want? <laughs> She wants anything. <laughs> You're a crazy dog. Thanks for watching you guys. And if you have fresh pet food, you're making your dog's food at home, gasp even feeding raw. I encourage you to keep doing it. Pepper.